Robbie Supple, the starter, flag in hand, ready for them, but it won't be a first-timer here because Impact Factor is just gathering ahead of steam and Ornua likewise, and they're just a bit ahead of the others, so they'll need to be restrained just to allow the others to catch up before they can go. They're off. They jump away for the Betway top novices hurdle over the extended two miles. And as they make the fairly lengthy run to the first, it is Impact Factor who goes freely in front and gives the lead to fellow Irish raider Ornua, head bowed low in second. Global Citizen in a pale jacket is disputing third around the first turn with Stahl the guard close to the rail. And then Lawler in the hoops, wide of Mind's Eye in a maroon jacket and Midnight Shadow right down towards the inner, an orange cap for jockey Danny Cook. Vision Day Flow in the green and yellow silks midfield as they rise for the first time where Ornia rather bunny hopped over it and at the back of the field Kulanli was the last to touch down away to the extreme left Slate House in the red and white is pulling hard off what is a steady pace as now Ornua moves through and strides off so between flights two and three they come Ornua to Impact Factor Global Citizen Stalgar towards the far side Lawler on the left and then Mind's Eye in the centre tracked over there by Midnight Shadow from Vision Day Flow Distingo in the pink and blue crossing the third alongside Bedrock and then Scarlet Dragon Slate House and at the back of the field Kulanli is a couple of lengths adrift so there'll be 10 or 12 lengths covering this uh, field of 13 and the Grade 1 Betway top novices hurdle and Ornua leads under the judge with an untroubled lead just over two lengths clear to Impact Factor who's heading the pursuit. Global Citizen racing enthusiastically continues to dispute third place with Stahl the guard against the fence. They're tracked by Mind's Eye in fifth and then Midnight Shadow the orange cap just ahead of Lawler out wide. Distingo and Bedrock in an orange jacket are the next pair followed by Vision Day Flow. Scarlet Dragon in the white silks has got two behind. Slate House red cap is one of them and Kulanli in the hands of Paddy Brennan continues to be just about last. Heading across the far side, inside the final ten furlongs, and on to flight four they go. Ornua still with a lead of just over two lengths from Impact Factor. Once again the leading pair on touching down, though Ornua not for the first time, was a little untidy. And now they move on towards the midpoints over on the far side, and also the midpoints in the race. Ornua continuing to dictate and if anything has stretched just a little bit further clear of impact factor global citizen with a pale jacket one or two kicking it to the ground and in rear Kulanli has drifted off them and is being bustled along as they head on now to the only other one over on the far side Ornia up from impact factor with the black sleeves and then style de guard global citizen Lawler out wide mind's eye with an next one over style de guard there just clipping the top distingo in the pink and blue has made smooth headway into midfield ahead of midnight shadow vision day flow bedrock and then Kulanli making a bit of progress under pressure on the inside of Scarlet Dragon and then Slate House is now at the tail of the field as they begin this long turn down the side of the course with a lengthy gallop towards the third last. Impact factor with the black sleeves has moved back alongside Ornua. Just over two lengths ahead of Global Citizen in the pale jacket is now heading the chase and then Lawler who's moved up into fourth Style de Guard beginning to lose ground on the inside. Mind's Eye going past him then Vision Day Flow with the red cap from from Distingo and Midnight Shadow as they begin the swing back towards home inside the last half mile. Bedrock in an orange jacket is next to Scarlet Dragon. He'll be away to the left on straightening from Slate House, Kulanli, and Style de Guard is now being pulled up. Heading towards the third last then. Impact Factor on the right still trading blows with Ornua. Lawler in the pale blue though is joining in with Global Citizen in the pale jacket. Bedrock on the left is staying on with Vision Day Flow. Two out. Lawler took over there as the leading pair weakened away and it's Lawler, but here's Bedrock now delivering his challenge on the near side. Vision Day Flow has moved into third. Global Citizen in fourth and mustering only one pace. The long track down to the final flight and then a lengthy run in. Lawler just ahead of Bedrock. Here's the last. Lawler pricks his ears. He comes up well. He now lands three lengths clear of Bedrock. Vision Day Flow in third. He's plugging on. They've got a furlong left to cover on the flat. Lawler grinding away in front. Bedrock in second. He's sticking to the task, but he isn't getting any closer. Vision Day Flow is keeping on, pressing for second. An emotional day as Lawler takes the grade one Betway top novices hurdle and wins again at Aintree. Vision Day Flow in second, Bedrock third, and Mind's Eye round through for four.